off for what's getting ready to come into your life. Just pat yourself on the chest and say, I deserve it all. Everything that's coming to me, I deserve it all. If that's for you, I need you to clap those hands for me. just press my way into the house of the Lord. I know God has something prepared for me. I'm getting ready to give this mic up. But for the next 60 seconds, you ain't got to stand. I want you to clap those hands and give God the best
off the sound text, the lighting engineers, the, everybody that has anything to do with the lady who they call for them. So I want you to begin to prepare your heart, begin to prepare your mind for this season of change. Look at your neighbor and say, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. It's a season of change and God is going to do something amazing with and through us. This is going to give us an opportunity to do more effective ministry. This is going to give us an opportunity to have more ministry, not just on Sunday morning, but also during the week.
give God us because we say, God, you gave us the best that you, you had. So we're going to give you the very best that we had. And then not only that, but we give God an offering because of that. But we also give God an offering to say, Lord, thank you for what you've done for me. Pastor Jalil talked about the fact that God is a consistent God. And God has been consistent in your life. I don't know about you, but I can only testify for me. There are situations and circumstances where I didn't know how I was going to make it. But some way or somehow, God stepped in and he showed himself to be consistent. I don't want you to just take my word for it, but I want you to hear the testimony of those who have been blessed by tithing and by giving of the offering. Let's receive a David Mitchell at this time. Well, hello, 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 hello. Uh, it's so happy to stand before you this morning. Uh, my wife and I want to share a brief testimony with you and just to declare the goodness of the Lord and his hand and favor in our life uh, this morning. Uh, If I stand here and say to you that this morning that we've had it easy, I would be lying to you. Um, our journey has not been easy. This year seems like it has not been an easy one. Um, I remember, uh, we, well actually we partner with this ministry since 2018. And we've been coming here, we've been driving two hours. We actually live in Connecticut and we've been driving two hours each Sunday morning to come here and just to serve and just to uh, receive of the Lord what he has in store for our lives. And this morning, uh, I count it a privilege and a joy just to stand and just to declare that God has been good in the midst of it all. Uh, there were times when um, we were living with our family and we had just got married and we needed to move, we, we were looking for a house and we began the process. And there, where we're from, houses are like 500,000, 800,000 going up. But we, the hand of God, the favor of God, I'm telling you that we are now living in a five bedroom, two house. It's six, she's correcting me, it's six bedroom, two house. I'm telling you that what it was worth for, we're paying half. But you don't hear me. But that's because we've been faithful to God. And when God plants you somewhere, if you believe that God has planted you somewhere in this house, I believe that God will give you the ability to steward. This year, I got a wonderful job, a wonderful job, a wonderful job. But I'm telling you, not many days hence, I lost the job. I was set up, unfortunately, and um, was going through lots of emotional battles and depression and I feel up and down and I felt like I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how it's going to work out. There were times when my wife, she had to pick up extra shift because I wasn't working and it was just not an easy road. But in the midst, God has been faithful. We receive checks in the mail. Well, you didn't hear me. Because we remain faithful to the things of God. And so, I remember last week, Apostle, he prophesied to a young man and said that that young man was going to get a job. I remember. If you all remember when that young man came up and he prophesied and said that young man was going to get a job. But he also said, and those within a 20 foot radius. God, I believe you. I went home and Monday. 
Monday morning, I got up early because I usually don't get up early. But Monday morning, I got up early and I messed around, went on the computer, was checking my emails. And I said, let me go on Indeed.com. Oh, you didn't hear me. And I went on Indeed.com, saw a job posted in my town. Just the right hours, just the right because I'm in school, so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't know I was looking for a job that, you know, had a lot of hours that would mess up with my school and studying. But anyways, I messed around on the computer. Uh, I, 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 I adjusted my, my, what you call it, my resume. And I did all my that. And I think by 8 o'clock that morning, I sent an application to that post. Well, what are you going to hear? 1 p.m. wife and I, we were sitting at home watching Netflix and chilling, and I saw a, a strange number coming up on my phone, and I said, oh, good afternoon, and I said, this is David Mitchell, how can I help you? And the other person on the other line said, I'm looking for David, and she said, you know, whatever, but anyways, my wife, when I was done, my wife said, was that a job or something because I know when you get on the phone and you you sound a little you put on like professional well 1 p.m. they called that lady called me and said is this David Mitchell I see your application this morning and I want to go ahead and give you a phone interview Just on the phone and when I was and when we got done she said okay can you come in Wednesday morning and meet with the regional manager I said sure I can and Wednesday morning I got up and I went to the interview did the interview with the regional manager by Thursday morning I got the call David Mitchell we want to move forward with the job
in your community, in this nation, in this region.
who gave me everything that I asked for and everything I didn't know to ask for. And he did it in the budget that he gave me. Because that was the other crazy thing about this. He said, this is what you need to budget financially steward for this transition. He did it in the budget he gave me. And in one day, did what I could not do on my own in six months. In the midst of my deficit, he showed himself to be my provider. Don't be discouraged by what you are in need of when you are connected to the only one Jesus' name, amen. Come on, you can- 
Please, 